What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. If you are new here, we are in my entryway because today's video is going to be a little entryway makeover. My entryway isn't very big. You can see that there is really only one space in particular where you can really put anything. I don't want the space to be cluttered. The wall has some marks on it that I'm gonna have to clean up as well. So today is really about just trying to get organized. Shoes, keys, mail, all sorts of stuff gets collected here. I do already have a console table that I want to put in this space, so that part is kind of taken care of. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is actually painting the banisters in the entryway. They are kind of a bright yellowy golden oak color. The floor is more of a neutral, kind of a little bit warm brown, and then the door, as you can see behind me, is a black. I think painting them black is just going to make the space look more cohesive and just fit overall better. I quickly realized that the first thing that I should do is probably clear out the space. I have my purse, I have these bins, there's holiday decor, the shoe farm, just all this stuff that needs to move. Before you paint anything, you really want to make sure that you give the surface a really good clean. You don't want any dust or dirt or grease sticking around and preventing your paint from sticking. Here I'm just going to go ahead and give the banister also a light sanding. We just want to scuff up the surface and get rid of that slight sheen. I know it can be tough with banisters having all these crevices, but you really want to push your sanding block in there to get all the spots that you can. Alright, the banisters are sanded down. I wiped them down to get the sanding dust off them. And then I also went ahead and just used some frog tape around certain areas of the banister. So that way the paint doesn't get on the wall. I'm not going to take the banisters off. I'm just going to try to use both a detail brush and a regular paintbrush to just try to paint them as is and just try to do a really good job. So let's go ahead and start painting them. Anything that gets painted black in my house is done in tricorn black because it is very deeply saturated. Probably will not be surprised to hear that this was one of the hardest areas to paint on the banister. I found that if you kind of stippled the paint in to where these two pieces meet, that was kind of best for getting full coverage. To paint around the spindles, I just took a small detail brush and really slowly went around each one. I don't know how you guys feel, but there is something so satisfying to me about seeing something transform through paint. All right, so I got the first coat of black paint on both banisters. One of the things I'm gonna show you, I'll get a little closer here, is that black paint never goes on nicely on a first coat. Black paint is always going to need two or three. I know you might think, but it's dark, it should cover really well, but black paint pretty much almost always looks splotchy on the first coat. So we'll let that dry and then we'll put a second on. Good morning guys, it is a new day and the banisters have been painted black. I'll put in a little bit of a better video here for you so that you can see them. It's just a little bit tight filming in my entryway because it's not big, but they turn out really well. I really like them and I feel like the space already looks more cohesive like I had talked about. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the console table that I have for the area down into position. So I got the console table here in place and there's Miles coming to help me. And it is tough in this area because you can see that the table really has to go kind of behind the banister. If I move it too far down this way, I feel like it's going to impede the door. I have this piece that I had thrifted 
that I initially thought would kind of go up here. And of course you can't see from afar cause I'm so close, but it has these, you know, spokes on it that you could hang things from, but I'm just not sure what I want to do. Hi guys, it has been a couple weeks. I think at the end of my thrifting video, I told you that I was starting to get a cold and man, did I ever. I was really sick for like two full weeks and you can probably hear my voice, I'm still like getting over it, but we're back, we're gonna get this entryway finished. I did hang up this mirror here and I did it off camera because it was a little bit challenging to hang and I really, just needed to focus on it so I didn't put a million holes in my wall, but it is up and I'm just gonna go ahead and move the console table out of the way because over here on this wall, I feel like it needs just like a little bit something. So I'm going to hang up. I have this little art piece here and then this one here and I feel like those would be cute up there. So let's go ahead and get those hung. All right, I think they look really cute and simple. I did not want to do anything crazy in this area. This is a tight space, so I wanna keep it somewhat minimal, but I think those add just enough of something on that wall so we can get this console moved back into place and work on styling that. Console table is a piece that I got off Facebook Marketplace, and I'm going to primarily use thrifted finds to style it. I like to start with books. I think they are great for layering and adding height. This lamp you guys saw from my thrift haul, you know I did a little bit of a DIY on it to give it that faux stone look. I'm gonna bring in a piece of art here. I think the lighter wood frame is just going to break up all the darker wood tones and the black that I have in this space. More books will go ahead and give some height. This thrifted croc is one of my favorite finds of all times and the dried florals I've just had on hand for a really long time. Just giving them a little bit of a fluff to make sure they're laying nicely. Here are some brass candlestick holders. If you guys watch my videos regularly, you know that I thrift these all the time. This little brass bowl is from one of my first ever thrifting videos. It was actually an all brass haul, and I'm just adding this little vanilla candle inside of it. These bins are actually just from Walmart, and they're going to hold all the shoes that collect in this area. I like the little brass handle detail on them. I think that just elevates their look. I'm adding in a little blanket here just to cover up the pile of shoes that we don't use that frequently. Then lastly here, I'm just going to go ahead and add this rug that I ordered. This is one of the Loloi rugs and I'll be sure to leave it in the description box in case you'd like to check it out. The colors in it are really beautiful and I think that's going to just tie together the colors in the space a little bit better. Very professionally smoothing out the fringe with my foot.